Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and this is episode 8 of my Automate Everything series for Modern Minecraft 1.16. In today's episode, I will be automating the production of oil and then refining it using the mod Pneumatocraft, as well as a couple of other mods, uh, such as Industrial Foregoing and Applied Energistics 2. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make oil, and there are several different ways to make oil in the mod pack that I have now. But the easiest way for me to make oil right now is through the use of a laser drill and a fluid laser base. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is place down a fluid laser base. And we need to place down a... Oh, hang on. I have the laser lens in here. A black laser lens. So if we take a look at the recipe for, for the fluid laser base... We can right click on this and we can see that we can make oil, crude oil if we have this set between a Y of 20 and 60. So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, that's awfully loud. So I'm going to set that to 50, which is just perfectly fine. And then I'm going to surround this with laser drills. And unlike in the past uh, versions of the mod industrial foregoing, you don't actually have to have these directly in a line. Um, as long as they are within the working area, and let's show the working area. As long as the fluid laser base is within the working area of these laser drills, it uh, can power them. So therefore, I'm going to be using um, 12 of the laser drills for each one of my, or for this fluid laser base. So let's go ahead and rotate this to be the right direction. And one thing I am going to add to my laser drills are upgrades here to make it faster. And I have some crap in here I need to get rid of. So let's get some speed upgrades. Um, these just make everything faster or make the laser drills faster. So as you can see, we do have some crude oil now. But if we go ahead and insert these uh, speed upgrades into my laser drills, it will make it faster. And actually... I wasn't sure if I could do that or not. I didn't even think about that until just now. But you cannot throw those into the fluid laser base. Okay, so one more. There we go. So the next thing we need to do is make a refining tower from the mod Pneumatocraft. Now, Pneumatocraft is uh, a mod that's been around for a while, but I haven't seen out in the wild in quite some time. So I actually had built this refinery beforehand, and it apparently does keep its inventory, which was crude oil at the time. And to complete this refinery tower, we actually need to add two, three, or four refinery outputs. Now, if you add four, you get more stuff back, and therefore you should always add four of the refinery outputs. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to get the oil from over here into the refinery tower. And how we're going to do that is the ultimate mechanical pipe right here. And we are just going to send this over like so. So there we go. And we need to use the configurator to ha make this be an output. And that will output to here. Now you should be able to use any fluid pipe to connect these two things up. I just happen to like the mechanism variant. So the next thing we need to do is we need to actually give this refinery tower heat. And we can do that through the use of vortex tubes from the mod Pneumatocraft. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to add vortex tubes to my tower right here. And I have 10 of these. And what we need to do is we need to arrange it so that the red side is touching oh, whoops, the face of the refinery tower. And I'm going to need to be really good about that. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to redirect these so that the red face is actually touching the refinery tower. And we can do that with a crescent hammer or another type of wrench. Okay, so unfortunately I need to hit these several times before they are oriented correctly, but that is correct now. And then these I can just hit once, I think, beside this one. So now that those are arranged like they need to be, I do need to add heat sinks to them before I go any further. And what these heat sinks do is they wick away the cold side uh, so what the vortex tube does is it takes compressed air and it separates it into hot and cold. Uh, if we put these heat sinks on the cold side, it actually increases the efficiency of the vortex tube. So that is something you definitely want to do. So now that we have the vortex tubes in place, 
let's go ahead and uh, set down some air compressors. So actually I need to grab this. This is my coal. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm exporting coal from my ME system right here into this modular storage unit right here. So let's set that down. And then I'm going to slap down some air compressors. Um, and there are advanced versions of these air compressors. I just have the basic variant for right now. Uh, it would probably be uh, helpful to have the advanced version, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're just going to link these up and give them coal. Now they, there is also a fluid variant of the air compressor. Um, this one uses solid fuels. So that's why I have coal exporting into this modular storage unit because I'm going to be inserting coal into these air compressors. So let's go ahead and right click this a few times. And you'll notice that they're making noise because their air is not hooked up to anything. They're just uh, trying to compress uncompressible air in the environment. So uh, what you need now are some pressure tubes and we need to hook these up to the vortex tubes. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. And let's bring this across and then down and then up. So one thing you should know is that with these pressure tubes, you want to keep them as short as you can. You do get pressure loss over distance. So yeah, um, you do want to keep these short. Uh, ideally, I would have actually had the compressors closer to the vortex tubes, but it's okay. I have more than enough pressure uh, with my nine air compressors there. So if we look over here, we can see that the temperature is rising. And once it starts to rise, we should start to get some outputs. So it needs to be over 100 degrees is what it says. So we should start to get some stuff now. Um, see, and uh, we have diesel, kerosene, gasoline, and LPG. If we take a look at the refinery, it can actually uh, do several different recipes. Like I said, depending on how many refinery outputs you have. So if you have only two, you only get diesel and LPG, which is not ideal because you only get six millibuckets of fluid out of 10 millibuckets. If you have three of the outputs, you get diesel, kerosene, and LPG. And once again, you're only getting seven uh, millibuckets here out of the 10 that you put in, which is unideal. However, if you have all four of the refinery outputs, you actually get all 10 millibuckets back. And you get that in the form of diesel, kerosene, gasoline, and LPG. Now, these fluids can be used with other mods and in Pneumatocraft itself. And... Uh, I prefer to use them with thermal expansion, but you know, to each their own. And actually, I wonder if I have an ultimate tank in here. So I actually need to grab one more ultimate tank. And once I do that, I will be right back. So I now have my four ultimate fluid tanks and I've already placed them down. So let's go ahead and do the routing for the uh, plumbing here to get all of the liquids into the correct tanks. So for the first one, it's gonna be really easy. It's just gonna be this little short section of pipe right here. And then for the second one, which is kerosene, we're just going to drop it down like so. And let's get our configurator and let's go ahead and separate these two pipes. Uh, not right there, sorry. Um, and actually I might need to replace that section. Okay, so this one is the gasoline and that goes over here. So let's go ahead and tell this to come over here and then drop it straight down like so. And we're going to need to separate these right here as well as this little section right there. And then lastly, the LPG goes over here. Yes, LPG goes over here. So we're gonna need to drop this down like so. And once again, we need to separate this and then the high and the low there. Okay, so cool. So now we just need to set these up to all be outputs and then we will be getting our fluids out of the refinery here. So fantastic. And we do have plenty of these fluids. So that is how you automate the production of oil and a refinery using the mods new Metacraft and industrial foregoing. Now in my mod pack, which is the all the mods uh, six mod pack, there are multiple ways of making crude oil. And I believe all of them should be able to be refined using the new Metacraft uh, refinery here. Uh, I believe immersive engineering and thermal expansion also add crude oil, which could be used in this refinery as well. So I just wanted to do this today because I really enjoyed playing with the mod Metacraft in the past and it is finally back. It's been, I don't know, probably two or three years since I played with the mod Metacraft, if not longer. And it's, I'm really glad to see that it's back. 
So anyways, if you enjoyed today's episode or you learned something today, feel free to drop a like down below. And if you like watching automation type stuff in modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 08, and I will see you next time.